Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. Yeah, I recorded this about three weeks ago, and then when I got around to editing the video, uh, that the audio didn't record. <laughs> so like, I spent 10 minutes yelling into a microphone for no reason. Uh, so that, that, that's on me for being an idiot. Uh, I'm sorry. You can moan at me in the comments what you like. Um, uh, that's, that's deserved. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Anyways, this week we got Lysithia. So yeah, this week we got the T version of Lysithia, which is like really adorable. They did it for like three houses and genealogy for some reason. Um, not sure if we're ever gonna see this banner again. Uh, maybe because they seem to switch up whoever goes in this slot every year. Like, I swear it was ninjas before and then we had pirates. I kind of miss when we have like a consistent banner because it was like, oh yay, we could get more of those units. No, uh, the only consistent banners that seem to be appearing now are like the kid banners, the Valentine's Day ones, uh, the summer ones, the Halloween ones, and the winter ones, and the New Year's ones as well. But yeah, everything else seems to switch around and I don't know why. Can they make up their mind on one? Oh, please. Like, uh, we, we, we don't need all these weird banners. We just want one. Yeah, I like the dancer banners that we used to get. You know, like, uh, the soiree banners where you'd have, like, a dancer Eldigan. We got dancing Bakut that one time. Don't I know it? I spent 1,500 orbs and that guy still didn't drop. Yet the third or fourth year that they re-ran that banner, he finally dropped for me after spending like another 500 orbs. I love the coop, but I hate him at the same time. I'm sorry. This is the tea time banner. Uh, like I said, I hope we get to see it again because I, I like this theme. It's cute and imagine how many like three houses characters we could get if we like just did that, you know? like. Please? Please just... One more? One more tea banner, please? That's all I'm asking. Is that too much to ask for, I guess? C come on, come on guys. Also, as you might notice, from the accent, I am an avid tea person. Uh, I actually have a nice lovely cup of tea right here, next to me. And uh, I I'm enjoying it. Uh, I've missed it for the last two weeks because I've been away. And as I find out every year when I go away, other countries just don't know how to make a cup of tea properly at all. Like, um, unfortunately I had to get the hot tea from a coffee machine and if you know about tea, uh, you have to boil the water to 100 degrees and not 80 degrees like you do a coffee. And coffee machines only do it to 80. We have it to 100 and we have kettles and do this. So I had like lukewarm cups of tea that tasted foul. And uh, yeah, I, I miss my tea a lot. First thing I did when I got home, cup of tea. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we got Lysithia and so, so my first group in Fire Emblem Three Houses was Crimson Flower because like, as soon as I found out Edelgard has the same birthday as me, I was like, it's over. We're going with the Black Eagles forever. And uh, yeah, they're my favourite house. Uh, you'll find out why very soon. <laughs> I managed to get Lysithia into my house during like the time skip, and she's cool, very sassy, a uh, very sassy lost child, but do not call her a child because she will just literally have your head if you do that. Um, saying that, I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> she's cool, uh, like her supports of Edelgard. Ooh, yeah, I, I like, I like that, and I like unfortunate characters. And uh, very shocked that Lysithia got a figure, as, like, I would have thought it'd be Hilda that would go with Claw, but no, Lysithia. So uh, I do have a Lysithia somewhere, because of course I do, I, I had to get all the Three Houses figures, so I'm, I'm sorry, it, it, it has to happen. <laughs> yeah, she's a cool character. Definitely need to go back and play Three Houses again and do all the supports because there's a lot there. There is a lot of lore in Three Houses compared to like other games. 
I'm looking at you, Fates. I'm sorry, you have some interesting story beats, but like, oh my god, the writing! Like, I'm always telling people, if you're gonna get into Fire Emblem, go start with Three Houses. It's very different to other Fire Emblem games, but like, it's the most accessible one, and it's probably the ones that m most people are interested in playing, so, yeah. if. If you like somehow stumbled onto my videos, you have no idea about Fire Emblem, and you've got a Switch, just just go play Three Houses. Go go and play Three Houses. Um, it, it's, it's so worth your time. Just just just, just go and do it. Yep, yeah. I'm I'm very much looking forward to the next episode because, oh boy, I got one of my favorite characters. I'm gonna gush in this next one. And I've seen like other VTubers have been uh, simp for this character. Add me to that list. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not even gonna deny at this point. Just add me to that list. I apologize in advance. Some of you are probably gonna be like, ugh, why, why that character? But others are gonna be like, fair enough, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> so um, look forward to it. And I'll see you all next time for another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. See ya!